Aaron and I had recently traveled to Blaine, Minnesota in support of our warrior hockey team playing in the fifth annual Hendrickson Foundation Hockey Tournament, and we were completely blown away at seeing the sled hockey and line hockey. Listen for a moment to all the sounds heard during this practice. We heard two very distinctive whistles in that event, as well as quite a loud rattling just before the puck drop. Let's listen again. So I'm told that the the pucks here, aside from being very large and metallic, they are only good for one period at a time. And these pucks are, are, they're like a metal rattle inside of them. And you'll hear a lot of different audio going on. People actually talk to each other, they're yelling out of their position. And a coach fires off some other kind of a, uh, audio signal saying that the play is started. I'm going to take a look at some of the pucks here. Uh, a regular puck and then a before and after puck. So here's a regular puck as, you, as you're used to seeing. This is, uh, you know, vulcanized rubber, the general size. These are kept in a cold area between periods. They, they bring them out, and so this is what is left over after one of these games. Even a period, I assume, but this is pretty amazing. So the only thing that's different is the coach right there, or the coach is the whistle, and blind hockey, once um, it gets past the blue line, That's the other whistle we heard, it's at a higher pitch. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. And this is the, the red device right there. Yep. You'll probably see it in a second where they'll blow the whistle and let the Okay, and that lets the goalie know that they could get a shot on them. Okay. Uh, and does that happen during the regular game? Yes. That's exactly how they do it. So incredible. What's your name, sir? I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. I'm Will Dobson. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Do uh, you end up traveling often, or? Yes. I mean, uh, earlier we would have to travel for half hours just to go to our practice. Ooh. So, and for two hours and then drive back. But now we've got a team in Buffalo near us, so. Yeah. Everyone's from 